Hello everyone, my name is Matt and today I will be providing a more in-depth look at how to renew your existing tickets inside the OneCall Access program. This video will only be covering specific features within the OneCall Access system. Due to this, we will be skipping over some portions of the OneCall Access program. We have a video on our YouTube page that provides a more comprehensive look at the OneCall Access program. If you would like more information about how to use the program to create and manage your tickets, we recommend watching that video first. I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. Any ticket you create within the One Call Access program will only be active for 28 calendar days. In accordance with state law, it's required that you have an active dig ticket open for the entire duration of your excavation work. In some cases, that excavation work may extend beyond the 28 calendar day period. If you won't be able to complete your excavation work before your ticket expires, you can renew the ticket to keep it open for another 28 calendar day period. To renew your existing tickets, you will first need to search for and open the ticket. Click on History in the left-hand menu to open up your ticket history window. This is where you will be able to find any ticket you have created in the system. You may need to verify that the date ranges are empty and click search to generate a list of your tickets. You can scroll through the list and then click on the correct ticket to open it. You can also search for a ticket based off specific criteria in the options on the top ribbon. To search for a specific ticket number, click on the filter by drop down menu and click ticket number. Type in the ticket number and verify that the created date ranges are either empty or correspond to when this specific ticket would have been created. Then click search. Once it appears, you can click on the ticket to open it. With the ticket open, we will now click on the actions button in the top right hand corner. This will open the Actions menu where you will see a complete list of the actions you can make on this ticket. If a selection is grayed out, that means that you are unable to perform that action for this ticket at this time. If you see that the Renewal option is unavailable, you may be trying to renew the ticket too early or your ticket may have expired already. An easy way to tell if your ticket has expired or not is to look at the ticket details on the left hand side of the window. If we scroll down, we can see the ticket expiration date. If your ticket has expired, you will need to stop digging at the location and create a new ticket if your work is ongoing. Please remember to provide at least two working days notice before you begin digging again so that the utilities will have enough time to respond to the new ticket. If your ticket's expiration date has not yet passed, but you're unable to perform a renewal on the ticket, you may be trying to renew the ticket too early. You can renew a ticket up to six calendar days before the listed expiration date. If your ticket is ready to be renewed, you can click on the renewal option to renew the ticket. You will see a short disclaimer pop up. This will explain that in order to renew a ticket, you must continue digging beyond the ticket's expiration date and confirm that all the utilities markings are still clearly visible at your excavation site. If any of the utility markings have become faded or removed, you will need to request a remark from those utilities on the ticket. You can click Cancel, and then in the Actions menu, click on the Remark option to begin a remark request. We'll speak more about remarks in a later video. If the information listed in this box is correct, you can click Continue to move on with the renewal process. After that, the ticket entry window will open up, just like when you first created the ticket. This feature allows you to verify that the information is still correct. Please look over the information and verify its accuracy. Then click Next. You will need to continue to verify the information in the following steps and click Next to move on. After you have agreed to the disclaimers at the end of the ticket, you can click Submit. You will then see a ticket confirmation screen that will have an updated revision of your ticket number. The revision number will be the three digits after the dash at the end of your ticket number. Another way to verify that your ticket was renewed is to check the status in the ticket details window. 
Under the status, it should say R-N-E-W, which is short for renewal. You can also scroll down and check the ticket expiration date. This should be updated to 28 calendar days after you renew this ticket. Once you renew the ticket, you should be receiving an email copy of the renewed request. You can also click on the Actions button and then Download Confirmation Sheet to download a copy of this ticket. It's important to remember that you can only renew tickets when excavation work will be continuing past the ticket's expiration date. If your excavation work is completed or postponed to a later date, please allow the ticket to expire and create a new ticket at least two working days before the work resumes. This will help keep noise out of the system and make the 811 process more efficient. If you have any additional questions or concerns regarding the renewal process, please contact our Web Operations Department at weboperations at usan.org.